Live sports, that's the business, people. The National Football League, NFL in America, top of the pops, biggest grossing revenue sport across the planet. That's why it's particularly good news that for the 2017 season, they've announced that they're doing away with a stupid rule which previously prevented players from excessive celebration after a touchdown. So now, in fact, that's going to be allowed. Well, maybe even encouraged. Take a look at Antonio Brown celebrating after a touchdown in the preceding season. (laughs) That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. (laughs) That's the business. Okay, the latest in useless status symbols is this thing. A Chanel branded $2,000 Boomerang. Mamma mia. Boomerang, I kid you not. For some reason or another, Chanel has come out with a new range of like odd sporting equipment gear with Chanel branding on it for $2,000. So instead of going to the park on Sundays with your kid and chucking around a cheap, shitty plastic boomerang, you could have this thing. Why, you gotta ask? Well, of course, this has come to the attention of indigenous Aboriginal activists who've accused the company of appropriating their culture. One social justice warrior said, when I think about Aboriginal culture, I think of Chanel, not. (laughs) Another more perceptive critic says, relax, it's just the stupid shit that rich people buy themselves. But imagine you buy one of these things and you chuck it over the fence and it fails to come back. (laughs) So, speaking seriously for a minute, illegal mining in South Africa. It's an incredible story. Here you have 6,000 shut down mines, gold or diamonds in this country, basically being put back in service by armies of illegal miners. They go underground, sometimes for six weeks at a time. They're huge elaborate support systems of people who smuggle down food, all sorts of other supplies, and then bring up the gold, which gets extracted and sold to illegal syndicates. Meanwhile, the safety record is absolutely abominable. For starters, the health concerns For seconds, mass deaths underground. Deaths underground. I'm not kidding. As many as 300 in the last two years. This week alone, 40 people killed as a result of a methane explosion in a worked out gold mine in the Valcom area. Lefty academics saying, well, it's good for the economy. Maybe we should allow these things to continue. Meanwhile, the legal mining sector in this country, you know, like Chamber of Mines members, big mining companies, If one person is injured underground, they shut down the whole mining shaft for a whole couple of days, if not weeks, lost production. So we've got these two disparate worlds and the lefty academics saying, well, it'd be good for the economy if they all ran like the illegal. No, I don't think so. 